Yeah! What's up YouTube? What's up guys? Hope you've been doing good. I know I've been lazy as fuck with my videos. Uh, I will return to my uh, previous schedule now and try to upload three videos every week. Uh, for the last week I'll upload uh, three videos over the weekend now. And yeah, so uh, what I want to talk about today is the weightlifting belt that you can see here. Uh, I've been using that for like one month now and I gotta tell you guys a weightlifting belt is a really really good piece of equipment but you should always use it properly and think about how to use it and read, read about it before you use it. Um, I didn't have any problems, didn't get any injury or so but I just want to inform you guys like what my experience was like in the last month and how it felt using it. So the first few days I used the belt, it was kind of weird. Uh, I had to get accustomed to it on every e uh, every single lift, like on the squat, deadlift, whatever. And as you might notice, I don't use it on my pendlay rows because if my body, my upper body is in a parallel position to the ground, it just doesn't feel right with the belt. Um, anyway, for the squat, it feels really good using it. The first few times the belt was still kind of hard, so it kind of messed up my my hip bone sometimes. Like when when it touched my hip bone, it, I got a little bruise and everything. But I ain't no pussy, so I just bared with it. And um, anyway, uh, for for my weights, uh, it raised my squat for uh, of about. Um, let's say 10 kilograms instantly without stop. So 10 kilograms is like uh, 20, 25 pounds, I think. And just just with the usage of the belt because it creates more internal, uh, inter-abdominal pressure and gives you just more power, reminds you to always keep your core tight and uh, flex your abs and, and your back as hard as you can because you press against the belt. Um, yeah. What I want to tell you guys about using the belt, like there's not only benefits from it, but you also get a disadvantage because I feel like sometimes I don't really flex my abs that much and more pre just press my belly outside against the belt. And this is exactly uh, the wrong usage of the belt. Because if you do that, you don't get any stabilization from your muscles and you just use the belt as inter-abdominal uh, inter pressure. Man, that word is really fucked up. And so imagine your spine is working uh, with, with, with the squat, for example, and the muscle layers aren't protecting the spine if you don't flex your muscles. And what the, this will cause is get, getting maybe your spine damaged or whatever joints you're using in a lift. Um, yeah, and if you if you don't um, use the use the belt correctly, you you might end end up getting a worse injury than before because you didn't flex your muscles at all. Uh, usually problems are with the deadlift. Like many people get injuries from the deadlift because they don't got a straight back or whatever. And now imagine you don't get a straight back, but flex your muscles. And imagine you get a straight back, but don't flex your muscles. Uh, I mean, both both versions are, are pretty worse, uh, but are pretty bad. But I think the worst version is like where you maybe get a straight back, but don't use your muscles at all because you're using a belt. Um, so uh, it, it there's uh, there are even studies like that show if you use a belt uh, you can end up with a, a worse injury than without using a belt because usually you tend to flex your muscles real hard without the belt. Um, but overall, I would definitely uh, recommend using a belt if you do some compound lifting, especially if you get to higher weights for yourself, like going for three to five RMs or even higher, and anything below that I mean like six to eight reps you don't really need it but it still will give you more power and yeah um, as you could see this was my deadlift with uh, 130 kilos on the bar um, that's like 147 oh, 142.5 kilograms right and I finally made it um, and Especially the belt helped, I think. The belt and my accessory movements. Um, yeah, here I tried some, some muscle ups. <laughs> I still can't do one better, but I'm trying. 
and yeah overall i would recommend uh, using a belt but you have to be mindful of how to use it of course and always pay attention to your technique to your lifts and always try to improve your technique i mean even now my technique on on the squat for example isn't very good and i just had to change it up this video is from from tuesday and uh, today is saturday and i just changed my squat technique today again because i felt a little little pinching in my in my hip hip thigh connection kind of my hip flexors and try to improve myself like not just for weights but also technique wise knowledge wise and you should always aim to be a better version of yourself and with that said i will end the video now um if you like my shit my videos comment subscribe uh, i would really really appreciate comments and you can also like give me give me tips or whatever advice uh, yeah that's it for today see you tomorrow peace out